Hello and welcome back to another episode of Gears Tactics. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our blind playthrough of the insane difficulty run of this beautiful game. It is time for Act 3, Chapter 8. We got one mission out of the way for a legendary, um, for a legendary bonus, but there are more and uh, Phantom Overlord is one of these additional missions. Just taking a good look here at our uh, at our other characters, I was uh, thinking about if we might be able to recruit another scout, uh, another support. Sorry, the answer unfortunately is uh, not. So we're going to go into that mission. And the reason why I was thinking about uh, support here is optional objective, which is the important one here. The rescued. Um, uh, the rescued gears need to kill at least eight enemies. Okay, fair enough. Enemies also get uh, mm, uh, enemies with full health get plus two hundred percent accuracy, which means we might want to injure them a little bit. So we're going in with Rhea, uh, no question, because she can uh, deal with enemies in cover. the The other question, though, is whom are we picking as the second one, and how can we get enemies out of cover? without uh, without essentially killing them and potentially uh, potentially sergio here is the right one because he is intimidation skilled and intimidate actually works incredibly well together with them um, also if we're killing a unit uh, other uh, skills are being reduced so we can intimidate more often Long story short, by thinking about it, I just talked myself into taking Sergio into that mission. There we go. And he would take them out of uh, cover so that we can hit them easier. Uh, we need to also deal some damage to them so that they are not at 200% accuracy. Wait a second, am I mixing up two things? I think this here was the mission where they got a bonus whilst they were in cover. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so we don't need to use him uh, now. Let's go back to my original plan. Very long-winded way of uh, working through that. And the original plan here is an Overwatch focused heavy. That way they can't reach us and we can keep them busy without killing them. Someone else can take the kill shots. So that's the idea of uh, the setup. Let's see how well that is actually going to turn out. Our scouts have spotted another pair of grub torture pods. Break those prisoners free and we might just gain some new recruits. All right, let's go. Looks like one of those rather difficult missions with only two. Aside uh, claws with those eight units that we need to kill, just with the rescued uh, gears, that is one that I'm worrying a bit about. And the 200% extra hit. So we got 15 turns. Um, we got a support on the left hand side and a heavy um, straight uh, uh, straight ahead. Support should be the second one because the heavy typically is a better uh, damage dealer. We got three epic cases. All right, that's good. And we got, yeah, the heavy torture pot there. Okay. Can we get even a bit further i want to inch out as much of the sprint as possible oh look at that well typically relatively uh, at the beginning of um, your spawn location there will be enemies and boy boy These here are nicely clustered up. Go 
good. Let's continue our movement. I want to get to that torture pot ASAP. No problem. Moving all the way over here. And then we got Setting up two overwatches. I think the heavy can keep those guys busy for now. Jack in the meantime. Moves up and let's hide as well. Only the heavy can be seen at this point. Which makes it quite easy for us to move around with all of the other hidden units. Let's see what the Cantus uh, uh, is doing. Oh, he healed them. Well, that's a nasty combination, right? Because when they are... Oh, wow, and we've taken quite a bit of damage. Get this gun! Because if they are healed, Go ahead. then they have 200% uh, chance to hit. Can we hit the guy and interrupt him? Yes is the answer. Here, the other one still has full on it. Uh, still has full hit points, which is a problem. Could try to hit them and push them back, or alternatively, just try nice to overwatch deal. at the same time, healing. Ready for anything. 40% damage reduction. Feeling invincible here. And let's hide. Ready. Okay. Good. Moving up. This here would interrupt all three. Placing it a little bit more to here so that that Deviant Sniper well takes a lot of damage. Enemy movement. All right, his movement is interrupted. I was hoping the others would be interrupted as well, but apparently that's not the case. Engaging. Oh boy. Well, look at us. Barely able to open that crate. I should have moved just a bit closer so that it was down to one um, to one movement. Well, let's take a good look uh, with the heavy grenade. Good, that's two kills for the heavy. Throwing frag. Grab terminated. Okay. Very good. Water. Snipers are done. Hmm. 
Now we just gotta deal with these guys here. Jake. All right. We'll provide another aura. Sweet. For improved Overwatch damage, and then hides himself. Heavy here. I think we're okay with forcing this guy to not move because that'll make his shot towards these uh, towards these two a bit more difficult. Target pin. Getting rusty. Okay, very well. That worked good. On Overwatch. Good, and this will help us to eventually counteract his shots. Can he right revive the guy? Oh no, he revived him. That's nasty. This will be good. Uh huh. Oh boy. Okay. Well. All right. Someone eventually will have to take that hit over there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Interrupted. Which is unfortunate. Can we sprint just to here? No, we cannot. Okay. But we can sprint really close. Good, that's still a kill. Seven hundred percent, uh, seven hundred twenty damage if we hit. Let's first of all try to soften the guy up. We got one shot for that. No, actually we can reload with Jack. What am I saying? Let's reload with Jack. Yeah. Chance of hitting are not that great. Start with killing this guy first. Hmm. Still only 35% chance. We can increase it to 40%, which I think is the only thing that is really sensible Sweet. here. We can still overwatch afterwards. Heavy, it's not the end in. of the world. That's a critical hit there. Nice. 
Okay, so far so good. On it. Overwatching while sealing. Nice. So we're down to four that need killing. One of them might be over there. Let's move. Scout moves up all the way. Standing by. We could definitely need, uh, use some healing on the scout. Yeah, we're going to get that ev eventually with the stim aura. Reload. Reloading. And overwatching. On Overwatch. We got cooldown reduction aura. Sniper aura. And let's hide again. Good, the guy is down to twenty two hit points. to three units that need killing next round we can heal uh -huh. everybody can move up in the meantime and the idea now is to get to that last position without any okay moving larger interference Sending a grenade here, just in case. Enemies moving in. Ready and willing. All right, healing aura. Ready for anything. Move up and hiding. All right. Roger that. Our Overwatch Specialized Heavy is moving in. On Overwatch. That's the Overwatches. And what are we going to do? Well, I think we're just going to stand a bit further back. They won't get past me. Scout still requires two more turns. You can already foresee, by the way, that something once we need to get out of here, things are going to join us. So, might as well. In anticipation of needing to move to the exit zone. On my way. There's the objective. Start planting mines so that whatever is we're fa we uh, facing, we still got the mines here as a protection. Me. 
almost killed this guy. Fantastic. Awaiting orders. Acknowledged. Moving into full cover. And let's kill both of them. Brings it down to one more kill. Got eight turns. Still plenty of time. Forty percent damage reduction. Yes, please. Nice boost. Thanks. Moving in with Jake, with Jack, and let's hide. What's the plan here? Okay, moving. Let's injure him a little bit further. I just want to stay in the healing zone for now. Ah, maybe not a good idea to go here because that is in the middle of the overwatch. Shot didn't connect! Good, moving up. This is a nice little interruption. We're going to hide again. And let's move up. Our oh, heavy snap. continues to um, hit there. And we are moving in further, this time with even more me. Overwatch. Ready for anything. Sweet. Jack hides, and we have a few auras going. We have a really secure position. Stands in the open. Dry. I'm out. Good, that's a solid nice. kill, and we got our Waiting. second objective done. Fantastic. Because that also means we can. Start hitting all of these guys. By the way, can we just hit him? Too low of a chance. Okay, we're trying that again with a little bit closer proximity. Yeah, that saves our grenade cooldown. Yep.
Should have potentially waited with that, we still had time. And instead collected the crates first. Yeah, that wasn't the smartest uh, move. Hmm. Okay, anyways. Let's start. Yeah. And first of all, heal. And eventually the scout and Jack okay. will Good. Uh, get all of the Ready other crates. Here. In the meantime, the heavies can try to uh, protect this Get high ground. Alright, tickers. Hmm. Oof, more tickers. Oh, I see. The only reason why these guys are not immediately dead is because... Because um, the scout is currently poisoned. Protecting the side here. Hey. Supports moving in. Let's get those crates here. We technically don't need the I don't need the epic stuff, uh, not necessarily needed, but I still haven't seen all of the equipment. There definitely might be something that is worth the while. Jack can take uh, these two. We got a decent position yep. up here, I would say. So that here. would take care of one of the ticker. Scratch one grub. Put on reduction and let's just overwatch. Kill zone established. Reloading! Cover me! And this Kills here should stop. take care of the other one. Affirmative. <laughs> Good. Picking up the last loot and then we're on our way out. Ready. moves up and we can easily kill them with indirect fire can do this all day uh -huh. go ahead target spotted really their only advantage is that they're exploding and the moment that you do have counterplay for that 
On Overwatch. Indirect damage, for instance, by a grenade. You are fine. I give the AI credit though, uh, the tickers are running kind of behind cover and are typically good just like that to not move into, Time, um, into Overwatch. Grenade out. We're done here. Easy. I read you. Good. On the flip side, On it. once we're I'm listening. at high ground, there's only so much these guys can do. That's the most dead ticker that you've ever seen. Good work. Uh huh. Dex joining us. Reading you. And theoretically, everybody could move out next turn. So what we're going to do Overwatch. is overwatching. I'm wondering, are there new enemies landing? Closer. Here goes. And that's a nice kill. We're done here. Affirmative. Two bonus kills. Very good. Maybe I sh maybe I could have just farmed the reinforcements at, at the end. Um, would have been a bit lame uh, way to succeed at the optional objective. But it would have been an option, right? So it wasn't as hard as it might have uh, seemed. In in my mind, I was trying to to almost save the kills for for those guys. But technically, with enough time, you could farm the entire team. Um, yeah, and that potentially is also the end of today's episode. Let's just have a look. What else we were missing? We didn't really want to open any crates uh, since there is still one more mission to go. This here looks good. Another heavy and another support. So eventually we can recruit that one support here because we don't have a third support. So yeah, why not? But yeah, now every everyone is traveling, as you can see. The support here is uh, healing skilled. I think it's not bad, but but 
at the same time we should have at least the empower ability level two if not uh, level three for that two extra uh, two extra turns but yeah that is kind of a must-have we can try to play with uh, the healing spec i haven't used that yet um, it seems like since you're almost always a one shot it's a bit of a waste but that is more a problem of the difficulty and not a game general game design problem um, as a suggestion maybe the healing side could have just also had a tree which allows you for uh, to stack damage reduction much more efficiently that actually would have been a good idea good and that brings us up to the end of today's episode thank you so much for watching we have one more mission until uh, act 3 chapter 8 is done and then we're going on uh, hopefully to the next end fight thanks for watching and have a good one bye bye